This medication helps to temporarily treat symptoms of the common cold, flu, or other breathing illnesses such as cough, chest congestion, fever, body aches, and stuffy nose. Guaifenesin helps to thin and loosen mucus in the lungs, making it easier to cough up the mucus. Dextromethorphan is a cough suppressant that reduces the urge to cough. Decongestants help to relieve stuffy nose symptoms. Acetaminophen is also included to provide pain relief and reduce fever. This medication is not recommended for ongoing coughs from smoking, asthma, or other long-term breathing problems unless directed by a doctor. It is not recommended for use in children under 6 years old and some products are not recommended for use in children under 12 years old. It is important to carefully follow all dosage directions and not use this product to make a child sleepy. Always consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details about using this product safely. This medication does not cure or shorten the length of the common cold and may cause serious side effects. Be sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist about other ways to relieve cough and cold symptoms. If you're using the over-the-counter product, make sure to read and follow all the directions on the product package before taking this medication. You can take this medication by mouth with or without food, usually every 4 to 6 hours as needed, or as directed by your doctor. It's important to drink plenty of fluids when using this medication unless otherwise directed by your doctor, as the fluid will help loosen the mucus in your lungs. If you're using a liquid form, be sure to carefully measure your dose using a medication measuring device or spoon. Do not use a household spoon because you may not get the correct dose. For some liquid products, you may need to shake the bottle well before each dose. Check the directions on the product package for specific instructions. Your dosage will be based on your age, medical condition, and response to treatment. It's very important not to increase your dose or take this medication more often than directed without your doctor's approval. Improper use of this medication, abuse, may result in serious harm such as brain damage, seizure, or even death. If your condition lasts for more than 5 to 7 days, gets worse, or occurs with a headache that doesn't go away, rash, or fever lasting more than 3 days, it's crucial to tell your doctor. These could be symptoms of a serious medical problem that should be checked by a doctor. If you experience dizziness, drowsiness, headache, nausea, nervousness, or trouble sleeping, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Your doctor has determined that the benefits of this medication outweigh the risks for you. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, contact your doctor immediately if you experience mental-slash-mood changes, shaking, weakness, problems urinating, or irregular heartbeat. A severe allergic reaction to this drug is rare, but seek medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. Acetaminophen is an ingredient in fast mucus relief severe cold. It's important to not take more than 4,000 mg of acetaminophen a day. If you have liver problems or are giving this medication to a child, you should take less acetaminophen. Make sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist for the safe amount of acetaminophen for you. Also, do not use this medication with any other drug containing acetaminophen without asking your doctor or pharmacist first. Acetaminophen is found in many non-prescription and prescription medications, such as pain-slash-fever drugs or cough and cold products. Always check the labels on all your medicines to see if they contain acetaminophen, and ask your pharmacist if you are unsure. If you accidentally take too much acetaminophen, overdose, even if you feel okay, seek medical help right away. Overdose symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, sweating, stomach-slash-abdominal pain, extreme tiredness, yellowing eyes-slash-skin, and dark urine. It's also important to avoid daily alcohol use, especially when combined with acetaminophen, as it may cause liver damage. Avoid alcohol while taking this medication. Before taking this medication, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know about any allergies you have or if you have any breathing problems, diabetes, eye problems, heart problems, high blood pressure, kidney or liver disease, an overactive thyroid, or trouble urinating. Also, if you have a history of alcohol dependence, liver disease, or diabetes, you should use caution with the liquid form of this product. This medication may make you feel dizzy or drowsy, 
especially when combined with alcohol or marijuana. It's best to avoid driving or operating machinery until you know how this medication affects you. If you have any concerns about using this medication with alcohol or marijuana, it's important to talk to your doctor. If you are pregnant, only use this medication if your doctor says it's necessary, and if you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this medication. And before having any surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications you are currently using. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this medication, so it's important to be cautious. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with this medication, as they may change how your other medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Avoid taking certain MAO inhibitors with this medication, as it may cause a serious and possibly fatal drug interaction. Most MAO inhibitors should also not be taken for two weeks before treatment with this medication. Ask your doctor when to start or stop taking this medication. Be cautious of products that may interact with this drug, such as ketoconazole, levocatoconazole, and rolapatant. Additionally, be sure to check the labels on all your medications carefully to avoid taking more than one product with the same ingredients. If you are taking other products that cause drowsiness, such as opioid pain or cough relievers, alcohol, or drugs for sleep or anxiety, consult your doctor or pharmacist. This medication may also interfere with certain urine lab tests, so make sure lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you are using this drug. If someone has taken too much fast mucus relief severe cold and is experiencing serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, they should call 911 immediately. Otherwise, they can call a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. For Canada residents, they can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, sweating, stomach-slash-abdominal pain, extreme tiredness, yellowing eyes-slash-skin, dark urine, agitation, confusion, hallucinations, and seizures. It's important to seek medical help if any of these symptoms occur. If your doctor has given you this medication, it's important not to share it with others. Make sure to attend all of your medical and lab appointments as directed. This medication can provide fast relief for severe cold symptoms, such as mucus buildup. It can help to loosen and thin mucus in the lungs, making it easier to cough up. The recommended daily dosage is usually taken every 4 hours while symptoms persist, but be sure to follow your doctor's instructions. It's best to take this medication with a full glass of water and to avoid taking it with fruit juices or carbonated beverages. Be mindful of any potential side effects, such as dizziness or drowsiness, and avoid driving or operating heavy machinery until you know how this medication affects you. It's important to take this medication at the same time each day to maintain a consistent level in your body. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist if you have any concerns or questions about taking this medication. If you forget to take this medication at the regular time, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at the usual time. Don't take an extra dose to make up for the missed one. Remember to store fast mucus relief severe cold at room temperature, away from light and moisture, but not in the bathroom. Keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposal, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard it when it is expired or no longer needed. If you have any questions about how to dispose of it, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.